All right, I am looking at the Worldle Daily again. Not to be confused with the other Worldle, where you're looking at the shapes of the countries and trying to guess them. This is more like GeoGuessr, but you get multiple... As you guess, it'll tell you how far away you are and give you kind of a circle to search in. So, uh, in, in that way, it's sort of more like the Wordle variants where you kind of get closer and closer and you have multiple guesses. So, um, I have no idea what I'm looking at here. Uh, I mean, it's an interesting looking building. I'm going to look around. Ooh, that's interesting too. Ooh, TX87 makes me think I might be in Texas. We are in Texas. Okay. So where in Texas are we is the question. And so this just uses Google Street View, by the way. So... Um, and, and I believe it is, uh, I don't remember, you get a few, um, you can play a few days for free and then there is a small fee to pay the, play this game because the, uh, okay, we're on Broadway Avenue J, it's over there, um, because the, the, there's a cost associated with using the Google Street View information in order to make the game. Galveston, we're in Galveston, Texas on... Broadway Avenue J. Okay, so now we get to see if I can find Galveston, Texas. <laughs> That's on the coast. There's Galveston. I knew it was down on the, the Gulf Coast. Galveston. We're going to zoom into Galveston. We're going to try and find Broadway Avenue J. There we go. Now we need, uh, we need a cross street. What's our cross street here? Uh, I don't see... Yeah, Texas 87, but that's the same road. That's that Broadway Avenue J. Oh, what's this? Mm, University of Texas Medical Branch. Okay, we need to find... Oh, there's a, a st stoplight down here. We're going to have a, a named street at the stoplight for sure. Uh, ooh, are we going to be able to read the sign, though? Oh, no. There's some bad imagery here. Uh, oh, that's better. Okay. 30... Is that 34th? Street view images are blurry. Oh, oh, it tells us on the road. We don't need to look at the sign. Okay, Christopher... Christopher Columbus Boulevard? Is that Columbus? Yeah, Christopher Columbus Boulevard. Broadway Avenue J. Okay, so we've got our Broadway Avenue J. We need our Christopher Columbus Boulevard. Boulevard makes me think it's a semi-larger road, but not necessarily. These are all... All these cross streets are numbered maybe one of these Broadway streets kind of long unfortunately Let's zoom out a little bit Broadway or Broadway Avenue I sorry Jay uh, Christopher Columbus Christopher Columbus I guess it's not too long it's just kind of this piece here is this still Broadway Avenue Jay when it comes over here no, it has a different name over there. Okay, so... Yeah, right here is where... Okay, so it's gotta be right along here. We just gotta find Christopher Columbus Boulevard. It's probably one of these numbered streets, and it also is called Christopher Columbus Boulevard. Unfortunately. What's this one here? This one doesn't have a label on it. That's a possibility. Rosenberg Street. These are all... Most of them are numbered. There is one here that's... Kempner Street. We're looking for Christopher Columbus. Yeah, some of them don't have labels on here, unfortunately. Um, okay. So, oh, the dime bag and family CBD store. All right. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. The Bishop's Palace and the, the Catholic Church. This is where we are. We're right in front of this. Yep, right there. That is the spot. Submit. Can we get it in one? Yes, we got it in one. All right. Very nice. So, uh, from Wikipedia, it says the Bishop's Palace is an ornate 19,000 square foot Victorian style house located in the East End Historic District of Galveston, Texas. Very cool. So there's some more information there. You can learn about Bishop's Palace in Galveston, Texas, but 
That was fun. So that one was a quick one. Um, you know, sometimes if you look at the right signs uh, and buildings and things, you can get all the information you need uh, fairly quickly. So um, it's not too uncommon for a business to have, you know, the name of the city on it sometimes. So, but there you go. So that was today's World of Daily. Uh, if you tried this one out, let me know how it went for you. And be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. So the way this works is it's like normal Wordle, but one of the clues is a lie. Ooh, okay, so, so we know the T and the O are in different words. We also know that there's two O's. Blank, I don't think that's, yeah, we can't do blank. So, I don't think we can do A and C. This works just like normal Wordle except instead of getting the yellows and greens on the actual letters, we're gonna get numbers on the right side over here that will tell us how many greens and how many yellows there are.